Hello everyone, it's me, Farmek, and welcome back to the Stormblood through Shadowbringer stream story recaps with me, Farmek. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, this is a new stream. And we're just not gonna wait, we're not gonna wait. We're trying to make as much progress as we can. And we're in the aftermath of what Xenos has done to us in Ralgar's, Ralgar's Reach. The haunted look in Raban's eyes speaks volumes. <coughs> See to the wounded, Firemag. They live. Help them. If not, move on. I mean, we have to. Mephred! Mephred lies motionless, having breathed his last. Clenching his fist is a small charm, which you take for safekeeping. He was already cold when I got to him. There was not I could do. That charm must have been important. You best take it to Conrad. Man. Mephred. This time around, your death actually stings more. It's actually remembered you. Wait, where is Conrad? On that side? If you see my eyes wandering, guys, it's because I gotta do my gotchas. Which I forgot to do before the stream, so... I kinda have to sprinkle them in while I'm streaming. Kinda, kinda going down for a bit there. I'm gonna try to be streaming more because I, I do want to try my best to get this out of the way before you know, Endwalker arrives. Minago, Mifrid, where are you? This. This is a story of a boy who cried a river and drowned the whole world. No, oh, that was a girl. It was a girl. He's dead, isn't he? Mefford was a warrior. A warrior. Not not a warrior, but a, a warrior. Okay, just... I know they're very similar. Always thinking about others before himself. He once had an Imperial Patrol chase him nigh on 20 moms so that his, that his wounded would have time to escape. His comrades loved him for it, of course. But that was only, but that only made him worry more. Did you know that he sent his men in Quarry Mill away because he thought they were fighting for him and not the cause? Aye, well he did. The only life he was willing to risk was his own, you see. But that's exactly the kind of man who should be the leader, the kind of man who deserves to survive, not, not an old fool who's all used up. There's no logic to it, Master Kemp. Kemp, there never is. Who stands, who falls, in the heat of battle, we can but do our best, as he did. Mefford will sorely be missed, I. But because of his sacrifice, many now live who otherwise would not, and they need us, now more than ever. Aye, aye, that they do. Forgive me, I had high hopes for him. Is all. Uh, did I say the name of the quest? It's, it was Fire Firefades. Firefades. Pippin, bereft of hearth and home, Ralgo's reach is no longer safe, as Pippin well knows. Our defeat was no near thing. It was total accumulation. We were powerless to withstand our enemy's assault, but we cannot afford to dwell on our failure, as Alphano said. It is those who survive whom we must think of now. Ralgar's reach is no longer safe. The Imperials may have withdrawn, but they could return at any time to finish what they began. We dare not remain here. Those who are not fit to make the journey to Castrum Orans will need to be taken by chocobo carriage. Agreed? Good. 
I shall oversee the preparations for the carriages. In the meantime, I would have you scour the infirmary for any supplies that might prove useful during the journey. Dun 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 dun. Orella. Orel. 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 Forgive me, but it is imperative that I continue preparing medicines for the wounded. If you desire treatment, I must ask that you seek it elsewhere. Oh, I see. In that case, you are free to search the barber and take that which you require. I will not have our people dying en route. En route. I would assist you, but this process demands my undivided attention. Oh, oh. Medical supplies. Yeah, I thought the interaction would take a little less. Okay. Usually those things make you wait. <laughs> These are going by pretty fast. Must be in the tent. Flame courier. Cor courier. Courier, courier. Captain Summers, Marshal Tarpoon said you might have something for me. 12 be praised. This should be... This should put the bleh. this should put the driver's heart. This should put the driver's heat heart. Oh my gosh, this should put the driver's hearts at ease. Tell the vice marshal we await his order. The Estola and the others are safely strapped in. Don't worry. I'll be by her side the entire time. Thank you, Kral. I'll walk alongside. They'll need protection in case the gardens try anything. Hang on. You're injured too, aren't you? Shouldn't you be in one of the carriages? I'm not so frail that I can't make my trip on my own. Besides, there's still work to be done here. I'll see you all t at the wall when it's finished. Blech. As you wish. Then let us let us set forth at once. We shall move as quickly as our comrades' health allows. Two Castrum Orions, Orions. Uh -huh. Conrad. Divide and conquer. Conrad is a man struggling to cope with the bitter reality. You saved a good many of my men, and I cannot thank you enough for that. But the fact remains, our forces were decimated. In this state, we'll not be mourning. We will not be mounting an assault on Castellum, Velodina, or anywhere else. We need to be honest with ourselves about our prospects. But first, we need to put our affairs here in order. Afterwards, I'll join you all at Castrum Orions. Orions. Understood. We will go and speak with General Alden. You know, I like how I always I kind of drift in and out of try to giving Alphano an accent. Because since I know I'm gonna be voicing Alphano a lot, that I, I'm trying to make him just a normal voice, my just basically my voice. But sometimes I try to give him a little a little spice to his voice. And there's just so many characters, man. If I had other people with me, sure. Maybe we'll give every, every single person a voice, but you know, it's just me. Pippin has already departed with the wounded, has he? Good. We have com completed our search of the Reach and the surrounding area. As far as we can tell, Xenos and his men returned straight ways to Specula Imper Imperatoris. Okay, after quitting this place, it would seem he's lost interest in us. Which brings us the most troubling question of all. Not how he found us, but why he chose to spare our lives having done so. In war, you kill or capture your enemy. You don't leave him to fight another day. Only a fool would turn his back and walk away, but Xenos is no fool. Whatever his motive, this is neither the time nor the place to think on it. I will leave a token force to watch over the Reach. The rest will fall back to Castrum Orions. We can discuss our path forward there. Oh, 
Oh yeah, back to Orient. Yeah. Teleport. Is with Yastola. She still hasn't woken up, but Crouch says she'll she she's through the worst. Given the severity, the severity, severity of her wound, we could have hope for no more. Let us pray she makes a full recovery. We lost a lot of good people, didn't we? I saw it happen when the Skull's commander cut down Mefred. A single blow, and that was it. Everything he fought for. All his hopes and dreams for the future, gone in an instant. And do you want to know the worst part? It wasn't a Garlean who did it. It was an Alamegan. Gods help me, if I ever... No, not now. Not while the gar General's waiting. Oh, Lise. Oh, Lise. I lost her voice. Were it not for the swift actions of the Scions and the Alliance, many more would have died. You risked your lives to save ours, and for that we thank you. There is no need for thanks. We are allies, are we not? Aye, just so. Let us not dwell on this tragedy, but look to the future. The future? I'm sorry, General, but there is no future for us. We've lost too many. Gods, I can still see Mefrid with that woman standing over him. <laughs> They've ripped the heart out of his General. They've broken us. Our fight is over. Master Kemp, please. I'll always hate them with every fiber of my being. For what they took from us then and now. Our homeland, our freedom, our bloody children. You mean the Skulls? The youths who fight for Xenos? Grania Lupi, the Black Wolf's legacy and our shame. A unit made up of children born to Alamegan dignitaries who came of age during the occupation. Sons and daughters of Gia Abania, raised to be proud citizens of the Empire, with all the rights and responsibilities that entails. It'd be easy to curse them and call them traitors, but they're our children. Our flesh and blood. If the only way to forge the future we want is to cut down our own, then... Then what was it all for? Nargo? What will you say to the families of the Fallen? To the mothers, and the widows, and the orphans? Will you tell them it was all for nothing? Listen to the girl. We dare not suffer our comrades' sacrifices to have been in vain. Now is the time to steal our resolve and press on, painful though it may be. And when Xenos comes back with his army, what then? This isn't the first time, you know. You'll be hard-pressed to find men brave or stupid enough to face him again. I still can't believe how strong he was. He humiliated us back there. The Warrior of Light included. God help us if he's next in line to the Garlean throne. Loath though I am to say it, we should not be surprised. Before succeeding Van Balesar in Alamigo, Xenos led the Imperial Army to Doma, where he crushed the rebellion utterly. As a matter of fact, Doma remains in his charge to this day. Suffice it to say, Varus's heir is a peerless warrior and an accomplished general. The question is, how are we to contend with such a foe? 
We fight and we fight and we keep fighting till we win. We take the fight to Doma. Oh, that one. I like that one. We take the fight to Doma. Interesting. You are suggesting we kindle the flames of revolution in Doma once more and force Xenos to fight a war on two fronts. For that, there would need to be someone left to fight on this front by the time you got back. Look, I'll not deny the plan as promise. And I feel for our brothers and sisters in Doma, truly I do. But I fear we lack the strength to see it through. Have faith in your people, Master Kemp. Them and the Scions. Hold fast, rebuild. And when all is in place, we shall defeat Xenos together. If you're going to Doma, I'm coming too. I want to help our friends there. And make sure nothing like this ever happens again. Give us the time we need, and we will give you something far greater. Very well. For all you have done for us, we will fight on. But be swift, comrades. Al amigo has suffered enough. Oh yeah. We're going to Doma, baby. It goes without saying the signs alone have not the strength to topple a pro provincial government here or anywhere else. I am certain the same can be said of the Doman Liberation Front. Nevertheless, we can go we can but go and assess the situation for ourselves and see what can be done. Lest you doubt what good we can we few can accomplish. I would remind you that my grandfather and his twelve disciples once journeyed to these lands to save Eorzea. <laughs> And her people from certain doom, brave souls with an impossible task. And the Orza lives on. Our present mission may not be as monumental in scope, but it is no less important to the mul multitudes of whom we should free from the personal uh, imperial impression. Whom we will free. Um. What, hold on. What did he just say? Journey to these lands to see if it was from the people from their doom. Okay, okay, alright. It's not as important, okay. And whom we will free. We will free them. Alize is contemplating the logistics of a journey to the Far East. Where men go as one, there is life. And, there, and where there is life, there is cause to hope. Our grandfather believed that, and so do I. But before we can forge ties with our friends in the Far East, we must first find a way to reach them. Orthard is not exactly over the river and through the woods. I am one step ahead of you, ahead of you dear sister, or rather, Tataru is. But before we discuss that, there is another issue I wish to address. Much as I would like it if we could all make this journey together, Someone will need to remain to serve as a liaison, 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 liaison to the Alliance and the Resistance during this critical period. Moreover, as your Stola cannot be left unintended, then I should obviously remain. Very well, issue addressed. You know, Alpha Note, it would have been quicker to just ask and markedly less patronizing. <laughs> yes, I suppose, uh, um, would you be willing to look after Yastola and provide support to Arnvald and others? Yes, Alphano, I would. You see, that wasn't so hard, was it? Enjoy your trip and don't you dare return with a gift. Oh, I would not dream of it. Right then, sister, Farmac, Lise, gather your things. We are for Linsa Luminsa. We're heading to Limsa Luminsa. Limsa Luminsa. Limsa Luminsa. Limsa Luminsa. Limsa Luminsa. Let's 
So we're, I believe we're heading to the aft castle? Because we need to go just... Mm. Oh, right. Someone is playing music. Music I do not recognize. But it's there! Oh, it's there! So we're gonna be here? Yeah, okay. Tatru should be here any moment with our ship's captain. So we're going by sea after all. Is Merloweb lending us our pick of the Crimson Fleet? Not exactly. You are right in as much as we will be traveling by sea. Regrettably, it is n it is not yeah, it's simply not as feasible for an airship to travel such a distance without impossibly large fuel reserves. To say nothing of the inevitability of running afoul of the Empire's aerial defenses. But then it is equally fe infeasible to sail the Aorian Alliance vessel halfway around the world without the Imperial taking notice, which leaves us with only one other option. Ah, speak of the devil. So we're going with pirates, right? Sorry to keep you waiting. May I present to you Captain Carvalian of the Kraken's Arms? The Kraken's Arms? Don't tell me you made a deal with pirates! Greetings and salutations, Scions. I take it from your com com comrade's tone that you no longer wish to proceed with our proposed arrangement? Not at all, Captain. Pray forgive my sister for her, my sister her art, uh, or her outburst. She has ever been one to speak her mind. I, on the other hand, am the very soul of discretion, as many well-respected personages, 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 would attest. From the offices of the Admiral to the highest houses of Ishgard. Ah, but where was I? Oh yes, the science of the Seventh Dawn do indeed still wish to employ your services. However, it, it is important that you are aware of certain extenuating, extenuating circumstances. An intent on securing passage to the Far East, you came to us, knowing us to be proud purveyors of said region's finest spices. Which you steal from gods, fearing merchants on the, out on the high seas. Whatever the privateering the Kra Kraken's arms may or not may not engage in is strictly within the limits of the law, as set forth by our indefatigable, 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 indefatigable. Yeah, I don't, I don't like how that's sounding. <laughs> Keeper of peace. More to the point, we are pragmatics. Pragmatists. I see considerable risk in aiding your cause and negligible blah, 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 negligible profit. Well, I for one think the captain has a point. The five seas can be extremely treacherous, and many a poor, unfortunate soul has to come to grief out there on the waves. Why, when we were in Ishgard, I heard the tragic tale of how the heir to House Durandere vanished at sea. Even now, nearly twenty years later, the poor Count remains convinced that his son still lives and would pay a Sultan's ransom for the news of his whereabouts. Hehe. <laughs> 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 Truly, a tragedy, tragedy for the ages, and a testament to the misfortunes that may befall us should we act without due consideration. But so long as you are prepared to abide the capricious whims of fate, I am willing to oblige you this once. That said, in light of the recent rebellion, I trust you understand that I cannot deliver you to Doma itself. I can take you only as far as Kugane, in Higashi. We will require time to procure sufficient provisions and make ready for departure. I humbly suggest you do the same.
If you didn't catch what just happened there, <laughs> Tatar just basically blackmailed him. <laughs> Suddenly, all of those hours Tataru passed cavorting and capering at the Forgotten Night seemed rather better to spent, do they not? That said, I had intended to press the point more obliquely, and there was something this disconcerting about the pleasure Tatru took in making Captain Carvalane squirm. Lies, damn lies, and pirates. Did I forget to say that? I feel like I did. Tales from the Far East. Alpha Note is thinking of ways you might pass the time. I say we should heed the captain's advice and, and attend to our preparations while they ready the vessel for departure. Tatru and I will procure the necessary supplies. Alizé, I should be grateful if you would use the time to brief Oranje on recent developments. You may also wish to review the relevant safety procedures in the event of an emergency at sea. How... how very prudent of you. Very well. I shall go and speak with him. What a farm I can lease. I know the two of you to return to Revenant's Toll. And speak with our Domen allies. I fear we know too little of their homeland, and any information they can provide would be most welcome. When we have completed our respective tasks, we will reconvene here at the ferry docks. Agreed? Sounds like a plan. Let's go, Firemac! To Revenant's Toll, babies. Well, here we are. We'll need to talk to lots of people, so I think we should split up. I'll ask around the House of Splendors, and you take the Rising Stones. I'll meet you here after, got it? I have to actually go inside to talk to people. Ugh. Greetings, Farmac. What brings you to the toll this day? What? You are for Doma? Heavens! You signs have shown us naught but kindness, but never in my wildest dreams did I imagine you would fight for our homeland. For twenty-five years we suffered under their tyranny, and then we spied an opportunity. The Emperor, dead! Garlemald in chaos! It seemed the time was right. Beneath our lord's banners we gathered, and fought to reclaim our nation. But when Xenos arrived in the Twelfth Legion, with the Twelfth Legion, it was over in an instant. Mm, oh, okay, I was like, there's gotta be someone else. You are truly planning to travel to Doma? I, I do not know what to say. Forgive me. I shall aid you to the best of my ability. Ours is a beautiful land, nestled on the eastern coast of Othard. Along the banks of the One River, our nation thrived, proud and free, until the Garlands came 25 years ago. The river was our lifeblood, free to travel and to fish, but travel was soon was soon restricted and now the river belongs to none. And Hozon. Oh yeah, Hozon. Hozon. Hold on, hold on. Hmm, what is it, friend? My friend? You look as though you have something to ask. That you go to join Yugiri and Gotsetsu in the fight fills me... <clears throat> that you go to join Yugiri and Gotsetsu in the fight fills me with such joy! Ah, my, forgive my exuberance. You require information, yes? We of the Nagai clan have served Doma faithfully for generations. My ancestors held positions within Doma Castle even. Now it is home to the Imperial Viceroy's witch and her most and her host of men in Magitech. To think that that was once the shining symbol of our heritage and the seat of dear Lord Kyan. Yeah, Kyan. Yeah. Has ever become a den of guardian dogs. Yeah, I'm gonna teleport, why not? <laughs> Ah, 
whether you are learned anything interesting, the older domans I spoke with tried to teach me all about Far Eastern customs and the importance of formality and politeness. I'd like to think Georgians can be just as stiff and stuffy as anyone, especially Scardians, but anyway, did you know they eat with sticks? It wasn't all that hard, actually, or at least that's what I thought until they told me I was holding them wrong. And then when I spoke with the younger domans, they just rolled their eyes and told me it was all a load of stupid... <laughs> it's all a load of stupid old... Hmm? Wow. What you learn sounds a lot more useful, unless someone invites us to dinner, of course. I hope they do. Not without incident. Incident. Not without incident. Lee thinks it's time for you to return... That it's time you return to Limsa Lominsa. Right, no point waiting around here, is there? We should head back to Limsa Lomensa. Alphano said to meet at the ferry docks, I think. Cool. Oh, we're on our way, we're on our way. We're going to... Uh, Doma. Or rather... Uh, Orthard. Yeah. He got no, he gun. He gun. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> you are returned, Farmic. I, tr I trust you learned much from our Domin friends in Reference Toll. I'm eager. I'm eager to hear all. Though I can wait until we have left for. Until we have left port. We will have time, enough time to talk on our journey to Kagane. Ugh. Our spice train friends have completed their preparations. Assuming you have completed yours, you may inform the deckhand that we are ready to depart. All set, lad? I'll see you to the ship, if so. We shall board the misery. be praised. Full sure was I that I had come too late. Rionje! Tell me you haven't come all this way just to see us off. <laughs> Nay, my lady. Ere you quit these shores for eastern climes, I wished to share some words of seeming import. Look ye where the sun doth rise. See crimson embers, darkening skies. Look ye where the sun doth fall. See azure lost amidst the squall. Well, that sounds suitably foreboding. Another one of your prophecies, I presume? Of far eastern origin, I. It is mine earnest hope that this ancient wisdom may serve to guide you on your journey. For what dangers lie in wait for you upon those distant shores are yet beyond my knowing. Oh, a parting gift befitting your roundabout ways. Thank you. I have more than words for you, my lady. It's beautiful. Is it for me? Woo! Don't skip cutscene. Woo, that was close. Though undeniably powerful, your ethereal blade taxeth you greatly in the wielding. Not so this rapier, which shall serve you just as well against all but the most formidable foe. Impressive. It feels as though it's attuned to my ether. I shall treasure it. Honored guests, say your farewells. 
for the moment of our parting draws nigh. A fair wind blows, and I mean to follow it. It would seem our ship is set to sail. Pray give my regards to Thancred and the others, and take care. Oh, what's happening? Oh, we're doing another map thing. Look at like Bismarck's up there, you see him? Oh, now we're only midway though. A fine day, is it not? Fair winds and following seas. The misery is enjoying herself. Nevertheless, it would not do for you to spend the entirety of our voyage above deck. Let me show you to your quarters. Not under normal circumstances. Captain! You need it on deck! Something queers afoot. The winds died down, the waters went still, and all of a sudden, we were dragged off course. Dragged? By what? Can't rightly say, sir. Some of the lads are muttering about seeing things in the water. Things that shouldn't be there. Oh, for the love of... If you will excuse me a moment. Actually, might I persuade you to join me? Loath though I am to admit it, I have a bad feeling about this. We're on a boat, baby. We're on a boat. Hmm, odd. Most odd. Well, do you have any idea what's going on? No, as the man said, despite the absence of wind and current, the misery is somehow being pulled off course. Well, why not fire up the cerulean engines and you have you have hidden below? An excellent suggestion based on knowledge you should not have. Alas, our engines appear to be malfunctioning for reasons that escape my engineers at present. I'm telling you, Captain, it's them. It's them things the lad saw. Things? I don't suppose I could convince you to attempt something more descriptive? An adjective, for example. Sea wolf su superstitions and fairy tales, not more. But if you must know, the things which he is so reticent to name are the souls of deceased women said to lure sailors to their deaths. Prosperous! 
Yes, indeed. It is neither the sea nor the weather which, in the, which is responsible. Then it is probably a pred predatory entity of some sort, perhaps a siren or some such. For all we know, it could be a fellow spice trader employing magics to seize and plunder passing vessels. Regardless, we have but one recourse, to let the current take us where it will and deal with whatever we find there. What a thoroughly pragmatic suggestion. Oh, I'm beginning to like you, girl. I assure you the feeling is not mutual. Once we arrive at our destination, be it a vessel or an island or something else, Lisa and I will remain with the ship to defend it in case of attack. Farmac, I believe you would be ideal choice to venture forth and deal with the cause of our troubles. Then it is settled. I know what awaits us, but it will rue the day it reeled us in. Alright, cool. It's dungeon time. Dungeon time, baby. It's dungeon time. Oh, I gotta make sure I got this picked on. Yep, yep. Alright, so this is gonna be our first thing, our test to see if we're gonna be okay. If we're not okay, then, you know, we got, we got problems. We got problems. The Siren Song Sea. Okay, so we're just gonna go right in. Ready. What are we waiting for? More of them confound it. at the carbuncle wait oh, ah but why am I not attacking I am dead ahead all hands brace for cat impact impact impact, impact. Impact, impact, impact. We appear to have arrived at our destination. Care to go and greet our hosts, Fire Mac? Oh. Kind of afraid of that enemy, actually. I feel like that attack put someone at 1 HP, but I'm glad they didn't actually give it to the mob. We got. was gonna actually hurt. <laughs> hmm. 
Mm, so far we're okay. Oh no, it's gonna hit me! I'm not going backwards, am I? No. <laughs> it burns! It burns us! Well, yep, gonna have to kill these guys. Why am I stopping here? But then I was like, oh yeah, I have to kill these guys. It's second boss time. And we're doing okay. We're doing okay. On them. Nope, doesn't want to do anything. Oh, we got a stack mechanic. Okay. We're still doing good. Here kind of looks a little bit like Hatala Hatali, a little bit, just a little bit. Have no magic. Oh. 
Nani? Fleshless captive. That thing looks scary as hell. Lorelei. I've been waiting for you. Virgin Tears, is that what that said? Ramble, ramble, ramble with all through the night. It does say version two. spirited but you will not serve then you will suffer morbid of man <laughs> alright so we're still good on the dungeons though it is definitely getting longer Yeah, huzzah! There it is. Huzzah! Gotta get them huzzahs in. We did it! Thank the Twelve! Everything here would appear to be in order. Good. Repairs should be completed by the time we return to the Misery. Whereupon we shall resume our journey without further delay. I swear, if I never hear another ghost story, it will be too soon.
back on the map again. Yeah, I think it said Rod's Rod's a hun. I remember the sea, the smell of the salt, and the crash of the waves as we drew closer to Kugani. Yeah, hey, we're in Kugani! The only port open to outsiders in Higashi, across the Ruby Sea from Othard, from Dome. All the colors of the rainbow, all the peoples of the world, all in one place. I wish you could have seen it. Oh, she's uh, referring to Papa Limo. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, you now stand in Kugani, the western port of Hinganshi. Regrettably, the only port in this nation to open to foreign trade. Oh, and I do apologize for the unforeseen difficulties which befell us during our journey. Needless to say, your assistance in overcoming them was much appreciated. 